Good morning, everyone. Will Dupree here in the KXAN Live studio this morning. And I don't know about you, but when I walked out this morning, it was a pretty big shock to feel how <laughs> cold it was after yesterday, which was so nice. Beautiful sun, nice warmth, did not feel like winter at all. So we wanted to get started this morning and talk to meteorologist David Yeomans. He joins me here in the studio this morning. David, good to see you. Good morning, Will. Nice to be on KXAN yeah. Live with you. First time here. If, and if you're just joining us, we're live right now on Facebook and our website, KXAN.com and the KXAN News app. So if you have any questions for David, please leave them there on Facebook and we'll try to address some of those as soon as we can. But David, again, a big change overnight. You said when you got into work this morning, it was still 70. Right, which is while most folks were still sleeping, hopefully. But uh, the temperature will, when the front came through, drop 21 degrees in under three hours, which is pretty significant for our part of Texas. Um, and now it's going to be a much colder stretch of weather. Yesterday it felt like spring, right? It was like yeah, it was 82 degrees. So warm. Yeah, we broke a record yesterday at the airport, but that is not going to happen. Let me show you some of the maps here. Uh, okay. The state temperatures, we'll start off with that after that live view over Austin. Look at this front, guys. It's really impressive. This is live as of 9 a.m., and if you look at this map, there's no secret where the front is based on those colors and the delineation. It's in the 70s out ahead of it in Houston and Corpus, but 47 degrees in Austin. When I woke up about 2 o'clock this morning, it was 70 degrees in Austin, but much, much colder north winds are blowing. On the next local temperature map, you can see that all of our 15 counties now have that cold front that's moved through just to the southeast of LaGrange. That's the line of colder air. LaGrange, you guys just dropped 20 degrees. It's even colder in the hill country, guys. We were in the 80s in some of these spots yesterday, and now we're waking up at 37 in Mason. Pretty crazy. Wow. And uh, you were saying, too, um, if we're going to pull up quickly our uh, Austonian cam out yes. there, you could see some water droplets on the screen. Right. There was, some water, there was some rain that appeared on the radar today. There was some yeah. mist and some light rain. I wish we had more rain, Will. This was just one of those kind of misty mornings, and now it's pretty much over with. Uh, all these droplets are, are drying up here on the lens. I say I wish we had more because we, we've had such a really dry second half of the year. We've seen drought conditions return and also cedar allergies return, which we'll, we'll get to here and in just a bit. And they always have fun with me, so yeah. <laughs> yes, go. we'll get to that. Let's talk about the wind chill, though. Uh, this is something we're going to feel at lunchtime today, Will, as the temperatures keep dropping and the winds are going to be blowing up to 30 miles an hour all day, so it's a bad hair day. We're going to have wind chills at lunchtime in the 40s in most areas. And then we wake up tomorrow, look at this, not with freezing cold temperatures in most areas, but way freezing cold wind chills. It's going to feel like it's 19 in Fredericksburg tomorrow at the bus stop early in the morning and 26 in Austin. I shouldn't wow. say bus stop. I guess we're on winter break these days, aren't we? Yeah, Most close spots. to it anyway. But yeah, it's yeah. going to be a cold morning. And the pollen count, this is what you're going to feel, right, Will? Yes. I'm, <laughs> not, I'm not looking forward to this whatsoever. Yeah, and a, millions of Central Texans, I'm sure, yeah. uh, feel the same way. This is our brand new allergy numbers, and we were live on KXAN all morning warning you that these were going to happen, and now this is confirmed by our allergy expert partners up in Georgetown Cedar. I think this is the highest count that we've seen so far this season. It's well into the high category. Uh, and the wind hasn't even really gotten going yet, so this is going to get even worse through the day. Yeah. And is the temperature, ha does it have any kind of factor in that? If it gets colder, does the pollen count go up, or is it really just you the know, wind that has the most impact? It's really the dry, windy weather. As far as the temperatures, you'd have to talk to an allergist smarter than I, but sure. I think when the temperatures do get colder toward the winter months, that may make the cedar trees uh, release their pollen. Yeah. Uh, but again, yeah, the dry, windy weather really just makes it release whatever the hurry. situation is I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> that's what we don't like yeah <laughs> but yeah the uh, hourly forecast here will we're pretty much wrapping up the rain for the morning and again you'll be lucky if you even got a hundredth of an inch most of us just got some wet weather on the windshield uh, the sun is going to come back out later but it doesn't warm us up much we're about 25 degrees colder than yesterday in the 50s with that wind blowing and then the seven-day forecast is going to show the uh, cold mornings that we have on the way. The sun comes out, and it's out for the next several days. But look at the temperatures. The typical highs are in the lower 60s this time of the year. For, so for the next several days, at least, we will be a little cooler than normal. And the nighttime temperatures, this is something to prepare for. We were giving you your first warning about not a freeze tonight, except for the coldest hill country locations. We'll be at 37 in Austin, but the wind chills will be colder. Tomorrow night and Wednesday night will. That's when everybody's going to freeze uh, we're forecasting a low of 30 degrees in downtown Austin, which means some hill country folks probably be about 20 degrees those mornings. Even colder there. But Absolutely. As I'm looking at that one more time, it's uh, once again looking like a warm weekend ahead. 
Perfect, right? Yeah. We keep doing this. Yeah, knock on wood. This uh, streak continues. Last weekend was gorgeous. We've had so many of them this fall and winter. Uh, this weekend, we're going to see an unusually strong ridge of high pressure set up, which could actually carry us into Christmas, which is the following week, of course. It's going to be warmer than average, certainly, Saturday and Sunday. And once again, if you all are just joining us, meteorologist David Yeomans is here with me in the KXAN Live studio. We are live on Facebook right now. Some of you are commenting, saying it's definitely chilly outside. <laughs> um, they're saying they're enjoying the cold. I, for one, love the cold when it happens. I haven't heard a lot of people here. who are upset. Yeah. yeah, because it feels like <laughs> winter to me. It feels right. more like the holidays as well. So if you do have a question for David or for me or for anybody here at KXAN, just leave us a comment on Facebook. We're also live on KXAN.com and the KXAN News app. Uh, David, one more time, though. Um, yesterday was a record warm day. Record hot. It was 82 at the airport, which beat the record, which was 81. And it felt like spring, didn't it? It felt so nice. Yeah, I was yeah. wearing shorts. It was humid. It was windy. That's going to be a thing of the past until at least this coming weekend. Yeah. I wanted to show you all one more time um, our Austonian camera. And, David, uh, talk about this because it's a kind of a gray, dreary day out sure. there so far, but there is some sunshine coming. It'll be brightening up for sure. You can see, actually, Will, the camera's shaking just a little bit. Oh, you yeah, see that you subtle see that. shake? That's the gusty wind that's just getting going. We're 700 feet above the ground here, so it's a little windier up there, but even on the ground, we'll have 30-mile-an-hour winds this afternoon and tomorrow morning. It'll be windy overnight tonight, so you might hear the branches kind of knocking against the window. But yeah, at least it'll look nice for the next several days. <laughs> After lunchtime, the sun comes out, but it will be jacket weather still. That's really great. Um, Linda Ponce is asking us on um, Facebook right yes. now. We're looking at a nice weekend, right? And again, we oh, said that. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, 74 Saturday, 79 on Sunday. It's going to be gorgeous, but you're going to need the heater for uh, the next several days until we get there. Yeah. Um, again, if you guys have any questions for us, we are live right now on Facebook. Again, some people are saying, I agree, it feels like winter now. It does, <laughs> and it just happened literally while you were here at the office today. Tom. Yeah, just yeah. In, in several hours. If you missed it at the top, we were talking about how we had a 21-degree drop in three hours in Austin. There's a great view of where the front is right now after 9 a.m., and it's plowing toward the coast. Somebody in Houston uh, wrote me on Facebook and said, oh, it's still really warm and humid. And <laughs> they're going to be in the 50s this afternoon as well. So uh, big changes coming in uh, really across the area. Yeah, you can see that whole front frontage line right there, just right mm -hmm. there across the state. And the trail of lights, at least it'll be nice for that. True, uh, yeah. People never want to go out there when it's record hot, like last night, even though there was a crazy line on Mopac I saw yesterday evening trying to go there. But uh, the next several nights, if you do want to go to the trail, we've got the information on our website. We're one of the sponsors, and uh, it will certainly be feeling like the season. You can grab some hot chocolate and a funnel cake, which is my favorite. I do love that, too. <laughs> um, someone is asking right now, they're kind of saying, um, if you can look into your crystal ball, yes. uh, maybe some of the prediction models out there, um, what is it going to look like for Christmas? Any mm. guesses? So Christmas, uh, it looks like we were talking about the ridge of high pressure this weekend, uh, bringing us back way into the 70s. Uh, Christmas, it looks like that might hold. Hmm. Um, but we can't guarantee that it will be a dry Christmas. So our best guess right now, which it's tough to forecast beyond seven days, of course, but it may be warm and it may be kind of humid and uh, possibly a little bit of rain on Christmas. So every day as that gets closer, we'll be giving you a better and better idea. A much better idea there. Yeah. And someone on Facebook right now is saying they dislike the cold, so a ah. bit of a different opinion there. So we, we like to represent <laughs> all the sides. There had to be somebody, right? KXAN. But um, <laughs> again, David, um, anything people should keep in mind for the week ahead? Uh, we have this seven-day forecast that we had talked about. Right. Um, maybe you can talk about that again. Yeah, so the main thing, Will, today is um, cedar allergies. The sun's going to come out, but it's windy, and we have not had a lot of rain lately. So cedar, here's a look at the spike again. We've already hit almost a count of 800, which is high. Wow. Um, and this is going to get worse through the day today. That's the main thing for your afternoon, even though you will need the sunglasses. The main thing for tomorrow morning when we wake up above freezing is that it's going to feel way below freezing. It's going to feel like it's in the 20s because the windy weather doesn't subside. Uh, and then the main thing going forward from there is Tuesday night and Wednesday night, I will be dripping my exterior faucets <laughs> and hoses. Wow. Uh, I suggest you guys might do the same. Bring your sensitive plants inside as well if they're not natives. To Record area. warmth on Sunday, freeze this week. It's always yo-yo in Texas, you know, right? yeah. up and down. As I'm, I'm a <laughs> relatively new person to Texas, sure. a new resident, so it's kind of nice to see and at least predict that the unpredictable is what's going to happen. Predicting the unpredictable. Yeah. That's what we try to do every day. All right, well, um, everybody, thank you all for joining us today. Um, we did not get to... 
Oh, one, here's one question. Sure. Um, and this might seem a little improbable as well, but this, uh, this woman, Dora, is asking, what about snow? When is it going to snow? <laughs> That's maybe a little bit uh, wishful thinking. Too. Dora wants a white Christmas? Yeah. Yeah, uh, you might have to head north um, for snow on this Christmas. <laughs> we can be sure that it is not going to snow in Central Texas right. this Christmas. Now, as far as the winter as a whole, January, February, if we do ever get ice and snow, it's typically during January and February. So kids out there, there may still be hope for a, an ice day or a snow day, but it does not look like it's coming anytime soon. And a quick note on that, on that note, uh, this storm is not bringing wintry weather to our area, but if you are traveling, a lot of folks are starting the holiday early. Oh, sure, yeah. Today or tomorrow, uh, there is snow across the Central Plains and across parts of the Midwest. Uh, Oklahoma City, I saw this morning, had some freezing rain. So wow. check on your flights if you're heading out today. Okay. Yeah. Well, David, thank you for joining us. And um, I know that there's a lot more to track, especially with the holidays coming next of course. week. So you've got to look out for that. Um, but thank you all for joining us as well on Facebook and KXAN.com and the KXAN News app. Um, if you have any more questions, keep sending them to us. Uh, we'll try to maybe do a few more of these videos here shortly, David. I love but it. Thank you all again for joining us, and have a great Monday. Put on that jacket out there. <laughs> See you guys later.